What's up everyone? Welcome to another review by Ryan on this wonderful Friday, July 17th. Big happy Friday to everyone in the world or whatever day of the week it is when you watch this video. In this reaction, we'll be reacting to the 11th episode of Comey Can't Communicate Season 2. Um, we are approaching the end of what has been another great run for the Comey Show. Uh, in the last episode, it was a Valentine's-focused episode, focusing around the giving of Valentine's chocolates, and of course, in Comey's case, friendship chocolates. And uh, it was a really amusing episode. We got to see um, quite a bit of interactions, including with the best wing woman who initially helped out with Comey when she realized that Comey wanted to spend more time with Tadano. Um, and she's really just a wonderful bundle. Um, of course, the little kids that we got to interact with, yet it was annoying, but they got better as the episode went on um, and as that segment went on. And it was a really nice put together episode, of course, ending with Tadano not being completely left out because he was pretty worried he wasn't getting anything from Comey and you really got to see uh, the dynamic of his personality start changing how he responds to Comey where he really went from that's nah, fine to no he actually really did care he was really upset that it seemed like she just completely ignored him as a friend as anything when it came to giving out even a friendship chocolate um, and of course even though she announced the chocolate as a friendship chocolate she added on that it was the best one she made and she was really proud of it and even without her saying it it was clear that she felt that she didn't want to give that to him um, at the same time, she gave everyone else one, especially since we know she was struggling because we know she feels something very special about him and him about her. So um, with that said, you know, I left off the last episode saying that while I felt it wasn't as strong as the trip episode that we had had before, which I still do feel, I do, I do feel it was well put together and it did fit in with the personalities of our two main characters. Uh, and that leads me into, you know, some initial thoughts that I have that, you know, the second season of Comey has continued to execute what the show is trying to do. Um, and it's done it relatively well. Um, while I have minor gripes with the show and certain, and you know, certain characters, or really just a singular character, which causes me from being able to rate this show all the way at a 10 out of 10, um, it is a consistent 9 out of 10 show for me and will probably stick at that rating when the season ends. So with that said, minus my eye, which is now trying to act up, I'm going to actually go put some drops in this right eye real quick again, and we're going to go ahead and get this reaction started. All right, and I'm back. We're going to go ahead and get this 11th episode started. Our four episode titles for this 11th episode is going to be It's Just Tights. Oh, okay. It's Just an Oni's Metal Club. It's Just Sweetness. And It's Just a Fight. So we're going to go ahead and get this episode started now. And as always, a reminder that I do not watch Comey's second season on Netflix. So if you are watching side by side with this video reaction, please make sure you start a few seconds later than you normally would for Netflix. All right. And let's get this started in three, two, one. February 15th, the day after. Aww. Oh, she is. <laughs> It's going to be all right, Comey.
All right. So, of course, Comey's freaking out over her performance at the end of the last episode. And Tomino probably doesn't even realize how much that stressed her out. Oh, also, I understand there was a lot of people that had issues with some of the animation from the last episode, and primarily because Comey was in her stoic, signature, wide-eyed face almost the entire episode, but I, I don't get it. I mean, she always is, so that's nothing new at all, so not sure what that was about, but yeah, I didn't see any issues. swing girl. <laughs> wow. Talking too damn much. Bruh. <laughs> Goodness, this is just on instant replay in her mind. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. I still be laughing with this man's hair in the back. What in the world? Oh my goodness. You're such a weirdo and a creep and you need help. I can't believe this. Yes, I can. Oh, 
What is your problem? You're such a creep. Bro, I thought, no, I'm with you. Why? What's your problem? <sighs> this... I really don't like her, guys. That's why. I, I just hope you understand. I didn't like her really in season one. I don't like her now. She's just such a creep. But, you know, yeah. And then, you know, she does decent stuff, you know, I guess when it comes down to it. But she just, she needs help. A lot of it. She needs a therapist. She needs some medicine. Oh, no. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo! I mean, that was winning for him in a way, but... Yo, we gotta do something about her, bro. She, she, I, I tell you. I'm sorry to hear that. Yo. Time to just be taking a backseat watching all the chaos. What the hell? What a weirdo too! It's all these weirdo people. He just weird. Yami's weird. Just walk around. Just get across the fucking street. Just take the shoe off. Out here having these be types of bad luck right now. Out here looking like a Greshiko right now, like. Damn, got her shook. I 
I'm telling you, it's amazing. Damn. Get Comey coming through, helping her in her day of crisis. Look at that. Now put your meter back down to zero and have a good day. Out here having crisis left and right. Bruh. Suck. Oh, nice. Yame, why? I like that shot. They'd be asking too many questions. <laughs> Way too many. But you're a nice person. And that's always good in a school full of crazy people. Wow. What? Only panties. What is up with all these weirdos? Great grandma. So he just has an old people's complex. What is going on? I mean, they're all generally normal things, though, so it's there's real no issue with her doing those type of things, unless it's, like, giving money and stuff like that, and then, yeah, you shouldn't do that. Okay, see, and stuff like that, like, come on now.
Or just help with half the pile. Or just, you could have just helped with half the pile. What are you doing? That... Look at that. Yeah, just, you could just, or just, yeah, exactly. Exactly, loser. You get no thanks. You're just here. We adding another person? Cross concealment. No one asked you. Wow, there were more titles than I think I said at the beginning of the video, so sorry guys. Apparently there was a lot of mini titles. We have such good wing people here too though, despite the creeps. Oh boy. <laughs> Bro, it actually mad. Yeah. But it's cool. We need to get things like this out. Oh, they brood. Bro, it's time to go. <laughs> that is a that is a rite of passage. That is a rite of passage. Oh man. So definitely a lot of little snippets here and there. Nothing overly concrete in this episode. But good. Mm. 
Man, we gotta just lock Yame up somewhere. I think, I think this will end up being my number one ending song for this, this spring season. Barring any changes with my feelings in this last week. It's such a good song. Stop! You have issues. You and Yami might as well get together. 73. All right, so a couple thoughts on that episode. Yame continues to need a lot of help. We, we got to do something with her because I'm honestly really just getting concerned uh, about the fact she might get locked up and thrown in prison somewhere one day once she gets out into regular society. She has to stop doing this type of creeper stuff like putting a girl's freaking... Um, pantyhose, her tights on, you know, her freaking face and running down the fucking school hall like a freaking creep, a weirdo, a problematic child. Like, I don't know what's wrong with Yami. I really don't. You know, two seasons in, it's one of those things where, um, while I appreciate the times that she does decent things, um, there are just some times throughout the show that it's just, you know, we, it, 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 it gets a little old when she keeps just doing this ridiculous stuff. And yes, that is her personality. And yes, that is the person. And yes, everyone in this school obviously has really quirky, weird personalities, which all does end up meshing together in a good way. But we, we, we gotta have to do something with her because she's getting really out of hand now. But putting that aside, uh, this was a good episode. We saw the aftermath of the chocolate fiasco and um, obviously they did end up talking. Um, after everything was all said and done, well, after she ran away, but obviously they were able to resolve that. Um, we got to meet Sato, uh, Satoi, Sa Sa Sato, Sato, my goodness, so many names get thrown around. Um, we got to meet Sato, though, and, um, she was a nice, she was a nice girl. She just does too much and tries to help too many people. I used to be like that. I'm not really that way anymore now, primarily because unfortunately I did become older and I realized people were just kind of walking over me. So I will say I'm not as nice as I used to be anymore. I still help people when I can, just at my discretion. So, you know, I definitely feel her. Um, but alas, at the end of the episode, we had our first real silent quarrel between uh, uh, Tadano and Komi over, sh uh, over Shogi. So, um, and obviously even then, you know, it starts to tell you how close they've gotten. Because remember, at the end of it, Komi is trying to do everything necessary to get people to want to be her friend, to like her. The fact that she actually is willing to be straight up mad or, well, you know, just a little bit irritated at, at her husband, at, 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 you know, the person that she's obviously going to marry one day. Um, the fact that they've gotten mad now, as Najimi said, well, when did y'all two get close, get, get close enough that y'all can have lovers quarrels now, basically? And they started blushing and I'm just like, ha, I love you dorks. Um, but they, they have, they have really started to move that she's comfortable enough to be irritated with him now. Um, which is, you know, and then we saw that in the last episode with him being visibly upset because of the fact he didn't get any chocolate from her. They are starting to feel other emotions other than feeling that they need to be this persona 
of who they want the other person to feel. They're starting to understand that they can, you know, start showing weaknesses and stuff like that, even if they're doing it self-consciously. So um, it was definitely nice to see that we are moving into that now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how this episode went in a nutshell. So my opinions, again, putting Yame aside, which I can't ever completely eliminate her because she has such a prominent factor in this show with her personality. Um, it was a good episode. Um, again, I think that it's just the school trip arc uh, section set a really high standard for this season. And I do believe that was the best episodes of this season. Well, that and um, when Tadano was sick. Um, because that was just absolutely precious. Um, but, you know, these last couple of episodes have been good. They have not been as good as those the those episodes were, but still good enough. Um, and I still think that the episodes have been solid enough that when we get our final episode next week, that I will still end up settling out a 9 out of 10. So, with that said, that is my reaction, guys. And as I just said... We are at the end. So episode 12, which will be the final episode, um, based on what I think I saw, I think that the final episode is June 22nd. Um, it will air next week as scheduled. The titles of those episodes, it's two title. It's just White Day. And the final title of this season, it's just been, it has just been one year. So... Guys, it's been an absolute privilege and pleasure reacting to this show, watching this second season. I hope you guys have been enjoying the second season. Obviously, for those of you who are watching it on Netflix, you will not get to this reaction until about four weeks from now, four, I think four or five weeks from now, um, because of Netflix's schedule. But when you do get to this reaction and you get to my final reaction, which will show up next week, I truly do hope that you all have enjoyed this journey with Comey Can't Communicate Season 2. So with that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the reaction. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to be one of the first to be notified when a new reaction goes live. So with that said, I will see you guys next week for the final episode of the second season of Comey Can't Communicate. Until then, catch you later.